guys in this video we are going to see an example of laplace transform circuit analysis in this particular problem we have asked to find out the voltage across this capacitor initially the switch was at position a for a long time and uh, when the time is equal to zero this switch was flipped to the position b and the question is after it's flipped to position b what's going to be the voltage across this capacitor okay so in order to solve this problem first we have to look at the initial conditions and if you look at the initial condition when the switch is at position a for a long time what's going to happen is this capacitor is going to be fully charged and it's going to act as an open circuit and also inductor is going to be act as short circuit so when you draw the initial condition circuit it's going to look like this okay here let's draw the circuit so this is our circuit and here we are only going to have this voltage source and also we are going to have the resistor and this capacitor is going to act like open circuit okay so here we are going to have the voltage source and then here we are going to have this resistor this is 250 ohm and this is going to be act as open and this is this inductor will be short circuited now here we are trying we are interested in the voltage across the capacitor so this is zero and plus minus vo of c so initially what's going to happen is the voltage across the capacitor is going to be same as the voltage across the like voltage of the source so we can say vo of c zero minus is equal to 48 voltage so what's going to happen after we flip the switch when we flip the switch the voltage across the capacitor doesn't change immediately so we can say after we flip the switch it's still going to be a zero plus still going to be 48 voltage okay so this is the thing we had to know in the first place now we can go ahead and do this problem here since we have since we are dealing with the second order circuit we have to create a differential equation second order differential equation i know this is a seven, second order circuit by looking at the energy storage devices right like here we have this uh, inductor and capacitor so these here we have two energy devices it means this is a second order circuit now let's go ahead and create the create the second order equation now in order to create the second order differential equation you have to know two things so i of t when we have current we can replace that one with c d v of t over dt and when we have v l we can replace that one with l d i of t over dt so these are the two things we need to know in order to bring the second order differential equation okay and also after we flip the switch our new circuit is going to look like this so let's go ahead and draw the new circuit this is going to be our new circuit in the new circuit we are going to have this resistor so let's get rid of this part this is our resistor this is our inductor this is our capacitor and that's it okay this is our resistor and this is our inductor and this is our capacitor and the capacitor is 5 microfarad and we are interested in finding the voltage across the capacitor that's going to be VOC and the inductance is given 50 milli henrys and also we have the resistance that's 250 ohm okay so let's say the current flowing through through this one is I of t now we are going to create the equation first we are going to apply Kirchhoff's voltage law Kirchhoff's voltage law says addition of all the voltage in a loop should be equal to zero here we have capacitor, inductor and the resistor so we can say VL plus VC plus VR should be equal to 0 now VL we can replace that one with LDI of T over DT LDI of T over DT VC is already known that's VOC so let's keep this term VO of C and then VR is going to be voltage uh, work voltage across the resistor so we can say that is i of t times r right so this is going to be i of t times r now what we are going to do is we are going to bring everything in terms of vo of c because we are interested in solving voc so we are going to bring everything in terms of voc so first we have the inductor now this di of t we can replace that i of t with c dv of t over dt this v of t is basically the voltage across the capacitor so instead of writing v of t we can say v of c same thing okay so this is going to become d square when we replace that's going to become we also have the c right here so this is going to be lc d v square over dt square okay here we are going to have v of c then we, are, we can also keep the v of c right here 
dvc dvoc square over dt square and this current can be replaced with c dv of t over dt here i'm going to write c and also i have the r in front i can multiply this c and r together in that way we get rc and then dvo c over dt and that's equal to zero now we have brought our second order differential equation now let's write this one in decreasing order so decreasing the highest order is d square this would be d square v over c right d square v over c over dt square the highest order is d square v over c so we can write this one here and also i have to do one more thing like this is not in standard form so to bring this one into standard form what we have to do is we have to divide everything by lc because to have the standard form we shouldn't have the coefficient in front of the highest order so we have to get rid of this coefficient to get rid of that one why i divide everything by lc in that way we will get d square v o c over d t square and the second one is going to be this this is our second like first order so that's going to be the second value and here if we divide this one by l c this is going to become r over l r over l d v o c over d t and the third one we are going to have is v o c and uh, that one divided by l c right l c that's equal to zero so now we have the standard form now in order to solve this one we can write our characteristic equation and solve for this one or oh, there are many different ways or we can do the laplace transform since we are trying to do the laplace transform right here let's go ahead and convert this equation into laplace transform okay so laplace transform says so let's continue on top so laplace transform says when we have the second order derivative we can replace that one with s square v of s minus s v dc v dc is the initial condition so v dc and then minus zero okay so this is for the second derivative now for the first derivative this is zero because this is the derivative of this v dc and if you take the since v dc is a constant you will get zero okay that's how we got this zero now we are going to replace the first order the first order will be replaced when we convert this one to laplace transform that's going to become s v of s minus v d c and then 1 over l c this v of of c that will become just v s okay that's equal to zero now let's con uh, let's bring the like terms together like v of s that's what we are interested in v o c is turned into v of s that's what you have to realize now this v of s we can take it common if you take this common we are going to have s square plus r over l s plus 1 over l c and here we can take v d c also common if you take the v negative v d c common this is going to become s plus r over l that's equal to 0 since we are interested in v of uh, v s we can move a other th like other terms to the other side of the equation and if you do that this is going to become v of s is equal to v d c s plus r over l divided by s square plus r over l s plus 1 over l c okay so now we have converted everything into laplace transform now let's get rid of this part we have to continue the rest of the part so we need some space so let's get rid of this one and we have the values now we can go ahead and plug our values okay so here we have going to have 48 s because initially initially we found out the in the initial condition the voltage across the capacitor was 48 voltage right so we can say let's write this one here v o c at 0 minus and 0 plus we had 48 voltage 48 voltage v o c 0 plus so v d c is the initial condition that is 48 and uh, 48 s and this is going to become 48 s then this is if you calculate this one you will get 240,000 and in the denominator we are going to have s square plus 5000 s plus 4 million okay so this is what we have now what we are going to do is we are going to factor the denominator 
if you factor the denominator that's going to become 48 plus 240,000 and in the denominator we are going to have s plus 1000 and the other one is going to be s plus 4000 okay now we are going to do the parcel fraction decomposition and you know that when we have these terms like this we can separate like let's write this one first so 48 plus 240,000 divided by s plus 1000 multiplied by s plus 4000 and if you do the fossil fraction decomposition this is going to become a over s plus 1000 and then plus v over s plus 4000 now to find the a and b value what you do is you multiply this one by for example first of all if we multiply this one with s plus 1000 both sides what's going to happen is we are going to end up with 48 s plus 240,000 divided by s plus 4000 and in the other side of the equation we are just going to have a because s plus we are multiplying everything by let's let's say let's note this one here we are multiplying everything by s plus 1000 right so that's how we get rid of this denominator s plus 1000 in the other side the same thing is going to happen for a we, we won't have anything because when you multiply this one by s plus 1000 this denominator will cancel but for b we will have this one for b we will have s plus 1000 and in the denominator we will have s plus 4000 and when you choose s as negative 1000 what you what's going to happen is this b will be zero right then you can solve for a and this will become 3000 in the denominator because s is going to be negative 1000 so you will get 3000 in the denominator and uh, if you solve for a you will get a is equal to 64 right you can do the same thing for b for b what you have to do is we have, you have to multiply everything by s plus 4000 and you you will get rid of the denominator of the b then you will replace s with negative 4000 that way b actually a will become zero then you can solve for b and if you solve for b you will get b is equal to negative 16 okay so these are the two terms we will get now let's go ahead and write the expression after we get this one we can write our expression now let's get rid of this part okay here we are going to continue the rest of the part so the parcel after we've done the first parcel fraction decomposition our general expression is going to look like this 64 over s plus 1000 and then plus b over s plus 4000 so this whole thing is equal to v of a v of s right v of s is what you are trying to solve and b is negative i forgot to put this one this is negative 16 negative 16 over s plus 4000 now we are going to do the inverse laplace transform when you do the inverse laplace transform for this one this is going to turn into v of t that's equal to in our case we are saying this one as v of c v of c of t it's better to try say t because we are convert this one into time domain so this is going to be v of c of t that's going to be equal to when you do the inverse laplace transform you are going to end up with 64 e power negative thousand t minus 16 e power negative 4000 t and that's going to be the voltage across the capacitor after the switch is flipped okay and also since the since t is greater than or equal to zero you can multiply this one with u of t or you can mention t is greater than or equal to zero okay in both ways it's correct now this is going to be our final answer i hope this helps thanks for watching